Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video I will be creating admin app in Flutter, so in this app, there's admin and user, they can log in with the same login screen, but they will be redirected either to admin screen or home screen based on their role. This video idea is from Jaya Marugan J. If you want your idea to be featured in a video, all you need to do is leave your idea in the comments section and turn on notification for my video. Anyway, let's start. This is the app from the login and sign up with Firebase video, and I will be adding admin role to it. You should watch the previous video to fully understand the code. New role field need to be added to sign up function and the default will be the user. Next, let's create a splash screen and inside of it we'll check if user is an user or an admin. Admin will be redirected to admin screen, and user will be redirected to home screen. Okay, let's test this out.
There you go, now the admin can get the user's data by entering the user's email. Now, let's create a screen where the admin can edit the user's data. Yes, I made a mistake, the user is no when I click edit user, now we need to create a bull for when the admin enters user's email and then get the user's data, the bull will set to true, so the admin be able to continue edit the user's data. Now, let's test this one more time. There you go, now the admin can edit the user's data, little tip from me, don't change the user's email and do it if you use the same method for login and sign up as me. Also I don't recommend saving user's password because it's breaking user's privacy, I'm doing it in this video just for educational purposes. Also if you need to save passwords, changing it with admin controls won't change Firebase auth password, so it will be useless. To let admin create users, all you need to do is create forms with at least email and password for Firebase Auth like this. And create a button to create user, in this example I added custom mid for the users to organize them. In this case, I think admin don't need to approve the user if the admin is the one who's creating it. You can deactivate user from Firebase Auth console. I think that's it, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new today. As always, I will put the source code in the description of this video, see you in the next video. Bye bye.